Please welcome Mr. Arithmetical. Thank you, thank you. Welcome everyone for another round of Arithmetic Pacto. Here is our big board with nine squares on it. Our teams will answer math questions, and when you answer correctly, we'll mark your team sign on the board. And when you get three correct answers across, down, or diagonal, you'll win the game. Two teams are playing the game, and they will answer math questions related to geography, history, nature, and more topics, showing that math is used in everything around us. Some questions are pretty easy. There are 24 hours in one day. How many hours are there in three days? A geography question can be challenging. The U.S. has four major time zones in the mainland. Eastern, Central, Mountain, and Pacific. California is all the way on the West Coast, while New York is on the East Coast. We also know that the time in California is three hours earlier than in New York. Now, if it is 2 a.m. in New York, what time is it in California? 11 a.m., 5 a.m., 11 p.m., or 5 p.m.? Here's a geometry question. A straight line is the shortest distance between point A and point B. Is that true or false? And here is a tricky one. Hello. In one hand, I'm holding a sack with two pounds of potatoes. And in my other hand, I have a sack with two pounds of feathers. And my tricky, tricky question is, which sack is heavier? The two pounds of potatoes or the two pounds of feathers? This game covers many math concepts, including multiplication, basic geometry, money, division, time zones, clock, negative numbers, patterns, average, weights. There are two ways to share this segment with your students. They can watch the entire game show and follow the teams answering the questions. Or you can stop the video immediately after each question and let the students in your class to answer first and then continue the video to reveal the answers. All ages will enjoy viewing this video. However, the math level is more like for third to sixth graders. You can play arithmetical's tac toe game in your class. Ask the students to prepare challenging questions. It can be based on a topic that you just studied and then collect all the questions. Choose appropriate questions and just like in the video, make nine squares on the board and split your class into two teams. Each team will answer one question. When they answer correctly, mark the board with their sign. The winning team is the one that will answer three questions correctly in a straight or diagonal line. I hope your student enjoyed the video and the activities that followed. Please let me know how it worked in your class, your student's reactions, and the level of difficulty. Feel free to send some comments and suggestions for future videos and topics to be covered. And thank you for watching.